Charles Tatter was born and raised in Toronto. From the time he began his post-secondary education, Charles Tatter had the clear, uncommon goal of proceeding on both the scientific research and clinical practice career paths. I was attracted here because of the number of neuroscientists. This was uh, really a major focus of uh, brain and spinal cord injury research, and, and I uh, wanted to be uh, part of it. Dr. Tatter's early fascination with the brain led him to concentrate his research on the acute management of traumatic spinal cord injury, and for more than 40 years has had an illustrious career. We were able to develop an acute spinal cord injury unit that really made a difference in the uh, recovery of patients. We were able to, in fact, reduce the mortality rate, and we actually um, improved the likelihood of neurological recovery. What he felt, as many other people, was that for the first time, scientists began to have the tools that were needed to understand how the brain functions. Dr. Tatter's early work facilitated the development of high-quality and geographic imaging techniques that have revolutionized investigative and diagnostic neurology. And his research related to spinal cord injury led to a number of discoveries and developments adopted around the world. Well, people have told me that uh, one of the best things that I did uh, was to determine the exact processes in the injured spinal cord that lead to damage and processes that can be reversed and lead to recovery. So he took care of people and worked on what matters to people in terms of being able to solve these very serious problems. Uh, one of our contributions was to really uh, determine the usefulness of a device called the HALO device which was a device for immobilizing the spine to, to keep the neck in perfect alignment with the rest of the body. And we pioneered the use of that device in uh, several hundred patients. And we developed a test called the inclined plane test, which is now used in laboratories around the world. Very early on, Dr. Tatter could see that although they were making great strides in improving the outcomes for spinal cord injured patients, prevention was the arena in which the largest battle should be waged. To that end, he was the founder of Sports Smart Canada and Think First Canada. He has been able to forge coalition after coalition to deal with this issue, this urgent issue of preventing spinal cord injury, and I think has made a real mark in that regard. Realizing that we can't cure it by treatment, we come to the realization that prevention is, in fact, the only cure. Seeing the suffering of these patients has uh, prompted him to try to work at the front end of the problem, um, where he can make a real impact, and he's made an incredible impact. As a highly focused and accomplished surgeon and scientist, Dr. Tatter could see and demonstrate the value of pursuing dual research and clinical practice education tracks. He believed that aspiring academic surgeons should train in science to the highest level. We developed a great training program for surgeons in training where, where someone could spend uh, two years or three years in the laboratory during their resident training as a surgeon and become trained in science as well as in surgery. Charles um, played an instrumental role in helping get the Surgical Scientist program off the ground and sustaining it uh, during its early, uh, its early years of development and also putting it on great footing. What Charles Tatter was able to do at the University of Toronto was to create the tracks that enabled surgeon scientists to flourish and succeed. Dr. Tatter was inducted into the Terry Fox Hall of Fame and has been a top advisor to the Christopher Reeves Spinal Cord Injury Foundation and the Rick Hansen Foundation. Dr. Tatter's contributions to the world of spinal cord research and injury prevention have been enormous. There's something endearing in Charles, and that is he's a man that's done so much, and he's intense in his work. 
He's dedicated, he's clever, and yet he's very humble. When you put it all together, the prevention work, the advocacy, the coalition building, his clinical innovations such as the work with the halo vest and metal spring loads, um, you put all that together and you've got an amazing multi-dimensional impact on a field. And uh, to me, uh, Charles Tatter, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame, slam dunk. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Charles Tatter.